Montreal Daily Herald, Saturday, February 2, 1895. If you would found a new faith, go to Boston, has been said by a great American writer. This is no idle word, but a fact borne out by circumstances. Boston can fairly claim to be the hub of the logical universe, and an accurate census of the religious faiths which are to be found there today would probably show a greater number of them than even Max O'Rell's famous enumeration of John Bull's creeds. Christian science, or the principle of divine healing, is one of those movements which seek to give expression to a higher spirituality. Founded 25 years ago, it was still practically unknown a decade since, but today it numbers over a quarter of a million of believers, the majority of whom are in the United States, and is rapidly growing in Canada also there is a large number of members. Toronto and Montreal have strong churches, comparatively, while in many towns and villages single believers or little knots of them are to be found. It was exactly 100 years from the date of the Declaration of Independence when, on July 4, 1876, the first Christian Scientist Association was organized by seven persons, of whom the foremost was Mrs. Eddy. The church was founded in April 1879 with 26 members, and a charter was obtained two months later. Mrs. Eddy assumed the pastorship of the church during its early years, and in 1881 was ordained, being now known as the Reverend Mary Baker Eddy. The Massachusetts Metaphysical College was founded by Mrs. Eddy in 1881, and here she taught the principles of the faith for nine years. Students came to it in hundreds from all parts of the world, and many are now pastors or in practice. The college was closed in 1889, as Mrs. Eddy felt it necessary for the interests of her religious work to retire from active contact with the world. She now lives in a beautiful country residence in her native state.